When taking care of patients with Fabry disease, it's important to remember that they are uh, looking to us to have some uh, ability to care for them. You may not always know all of the details of Fabry disease, but you can always take time to listen to your patient, find out what their concerns are, and to address those concerns and let them know that you care about them and their disease. Why don't yeah. we start with your history? You are here because you have Febrile disease. Can you tell me when you first noticed any symptoms? Well, looking back, I had them as a teenager. I ran cross country and track, and I remember my face would just get bright red, and people would ask me multiple times at races, are you doing okay? Are you feeling okay? So I first started having symptoms around the age of nine. It was really hard for me to play outside in the sun. Um, so trying to do baseball and basketball and football, football was the worst for me, trying to keep on all the equipment and run around in the sun, I had, I had to quit. Um, so some of the symptoms were uh, tingling in my feet and I was never ever able to, to, to perspire, to sweat. So it was really, really difficult. So you had s symptoms early on. When did you start having any other symptoms? Do you have any GI symptoms? No, not at all. What, ca what caused me to go get tested was my family history. Uh, my mother died when I was 16 years old from renal failure. My uncle and my aunt as well. So at the age of 24, I decided I wanted to go look for whatever I had, if I had anything. I didn't want to be reactive. I wanted to be proactive in the whole, in the whole search for a diagnosis. So my dad had Fabry, and myself and my three sisters have Fabry, and my dad passed away at the age of 55 from Fabry. So it seems like you clearly have some background knowledge on Fabry disease. Uh, we'll plan to follow up with you periodically and um, update on any new developments as far as changes in recommended management or treatment options. If there are questions, I can't guarantee you that I will always be able to tell you off the top of my head, uh, but we'll look into it and come up with things. When treating rare diseases, it's important to keep in mind the perspective of the patient. So specifically for Febre disease, it's important to know what their treatment goals are and what the things are that are most important to them. Now for your own health, what are your priorities as far as maintaining your health or improving your health? I like to exercise. I think that's crucial, I think, for any any person, but I think it actually helps with, um, you know, the disease and making sure my heart is healthy and good. But I have to be very vigilant and aware of the weather around me since that's one of my biggest symptoms. Do you have any specific goals that you want for your health over the next year or so? I just want to continue feeling the way I feel. Um, if uh, my conditions get worse, I just want to be able to uh, get treatment. Uh, learn more knowledge of it, and uh, move, continue to move forward. Um, I accept my disease, and uh, I accept whatever symptom comes along with it. I just want to be able to have a physician who helps me feel the best that I can feel. Taking a good history and initiating a conversation with the patient can help the patients feel more comfortable and more confident in the physician. It also helps the physician to uh, understand the patient's priorities and take better care of the patient. For more information on patient history, visit fabrayfacts.com.